Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Oops, there's a little thing hanging down from my microphone thing. Fuzzy sock thing. Anyway, um, welcome back to the channel. And, uh, boy, I had a lot of, uh, feedback on this little ugly duckling Johnny Rude dup, dup, dup thing. So, what am I going to do about it? I don't know. Um, there was a lot of good uh, feedback and input on things that I should try to get this thing. You know, it is a head scratcher. Um, Yeah, uh, been doing this for, you know, 25 plus years. I, 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 I vaguely remember a Yamaha. I'm sorry about my throat. Um, if I sound gravelly or whatever, I've got, I've got. I was going to go up and get my flu shot. I put it off. I put it off. I put it off. And now I okay. got. I got the thing. So, anyway, um, you know, a lot of good feedback on this thing, and uh, a lot, a lot of good uh, things that I should try and and do. And I agree with most of those. You know, I'm like, well, yeah, I should. Um, a couple of people said, well, maybe the power head didn't set down on the leg right. And that could be like, you know, causing pressure, sideways pressure or upward pressure on the, the drive shaft. And that could be it. And, yeah, that could be it. And then others said, well, try and shim the lower unit maybe with some washers and different things and... and you know, that would pull the drive shaft down away from the crankshaft, you know, maybe by just like a sixteenth of an inch. And that might stop the whining. Again, fantastic idea. Um, you know, but at what point and what cost do you go, you know, I, I got to keep... You know, how, how much can I put into this $300 motor and, and so forth. But the beauty of it is I own the motor. So I can do those things. And I am, I'm still on the fence this way, that way, this way, that way on, on where I will go with it. Something inside me just tells me pull the power head off yank it apart to bits, and let's see what's in there. But at the same time, as good as this, this power head runs, without the lower unit stabbed up, or the drive shaft stabbed up in there, something just tells me, try some of those things that, that you guys recommended. Um, and so, that's where I'm at with this thing, and I, I'm, I'm still on the fence, I'm thinking about it, but, uh, in the meantime, I had a little window. Uh, that, that won't work. I had a little window, went square, window, of good weather. And I said, I said, that sounds like fishing and a boat ride. So that's what I did. I went out a couple videos ago. I showed you I got a halibuts and some other things. And I thought, you know, that's the only halibuts 
I've got in my freezer and I, I would like to have like two more. So that's what I did. I went for a boat ride instead of outboarding. You want to come along? Let's go. something see what she's gonna be maybe a cod maybe a fly hook flounder who knows who knows I hope you can see it no Good eating size there, my friend. <laughs> nice little thick fat halibut. Big old sculpin. Big old sculpin, taking my hair. Well, he took the bottom piece, he didn't get the top piece. Bye, Mr. Sculpin. Stay off my hook. Now there's something. What is that? It's a big old double ugly. Big old Sculpin. Ugh. There's a big one. Big old fat belly on him. <laughs> In my bait back. And we'll let him go. Then I'm gonna move back over to the other side of the buoy. Might be better than I first thought. Come on. Nice and slow up. I lost another one just a, about 10, 15 minutes ago. And now he's not paying out as much line. 
Come on, boy, where you at? Oh, nice halibut. Well, not real big, but nice enough. Is this thing working? I think so. Ain't too bad. I got him hooked pretty good. I think I can. No, maybe not. Maybe so. He's just exactly a twin to the other one. Ooh. Caught him in about the same place too. There's the buoy. <laughs> I still got my line out on clicker. Turkey and cheddar on a Kaiser roll with a little mayo and some Balterra hot sauce. Balterra, something like that. Yummy. And some Doritos. It's starting to cloud up. Not good. That's not good. This is what's known as about an eight-star restaurant. Yeah. Hard to beat this view. Hard to beat. There's the Halibut.
fucking boat there. Do you do? Bye, bald eagle number two. it'll get though. And yeah, we're starting to get deep. Let's go over here and look at the stinkers. Make sure this thing's on. Yeah. See it is. These are the stinkers. Water bears. And they stink. Woo, you need some smell a tube. Those are the big beach master males there, yakking each other. That's right, get at it, boys. Don't take no crap from him. Get him. Oh, you jumped him in the water. Oh, you better come back over here. He gonna get your girl. Big old water bears. Them things ain't nothing but brown bears in a uh, in a watertight immersion suit. Stinky poo! Weird how they sit there with their nose pointing up in the air. Oh, look at that one! It's almost white. You see that real blonde one over there? Stinky poo! You need some smell of tube, people. You'd appreciate this a whole lot more. Yeah, that one's real light colored. Stellar sea lions.
live crab that sounds pretty good to me too what do you think look at them beautiful dungeon s aren't they pretty some oh look at there some pretty ones in there yummy We've got the garlics, cloves, the lemon, the onion, the garlic powder, the seasoned salt, the Old Bay, and way in the back over there, a whole bunch of hot sauce. What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh yeah, and we got the big pot on the stove. It's just now coming up to temp. What does it mean? What does it mean? I show you. I show you. In the party go. Get in there. Gotta have the old bay and lots of it. Gotta mash that garlic first. Got to do that. Gotta mash my garlic, some of it anyway. In the garlic skull. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Up in there. Mr. Dungey. Oh yeah. Now what I'm going to do is let that kettle cool down a little bit. Then I'll scoop all that garlic and onions and lemon out. I'll saute that in a stick of butter. And then after I crack the crab, I'll drizzle all that yummy all over top of them. Yummy. Right out of that specific ocean. All right. <clears throat> Again, sorry about my whole voice gargle stuff. Um, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the boat ride, a little bit of fishing, and um, that's where I'm at on the old ugly duckling and another newish duckling but um i am at that point where i need to clean out this shop a little bit either decide i'm gonna go forward with some of these motors or get them in the bone pile so that's where i'm at and as always that is a bunch of hacks from Kodiak. Thank you for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.